Welcome to the United States Army Training Center in Fort Jackson for the graduations of companies Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Echo from the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, 193rd Infantry Brigade. Please stand for the invocation given by Chaplain Kiskama Lemoore. Let us pray. Dear God, we gather this moment to honor and celebrate the remarkable achievement of these brave men and women who have completed basic combat training. We reflect on their journey and accomplishment with significant pride, and we invoke the spirit of strength and resilience to continually be with them. May they carry the values instilled in them throughout their training always striving for excellence and never forgetting the importance of honor, duty, selfless service, with the readiness to serve with distinction, dedication, and courage, making our nation proud. In this moment of their graduation, we stand together to salute their commitment and sacrifice. Bless them in your holy name. Amen. Please be seated. The purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize the commitment of the men and women you see here who have chosen to serve their country as soldiers. Not everyone successfully completes this difficult period of training. Far fewer are able to accept the challenges and difficulties that come with the life of a career soldier. But those in formation today represent disciplined, motivated, physically fit soldiers who exemplify the Army's seven core values. Loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They are imbued with the warrior's ethos and display the tenets of putting the mission first, never accepting defeat, never quitting, and never leaving a fallen comrade behind. This is an important day, and these soldiers can take great pride in their accomplishment. To the parents, families, friends, and these soldiers, Fort Jackson extends a very warm and sincere welcome. We are justifiably proud of your lifelong dedication to our nation and, true, and are truly honored that the next generation standing on this field has chosen to join our ranks. Please direct your attention to the left of the formation. The units marching today from your left to right are the 282nd Army Band under the direction of Chief Warrant Officer Kevin L. Pick. Graduating soldiers from companies Alpha and Bravo, the Battalion Color Guard, and graduating soldiers from companies Charlie, Delta, and Echo. Identified by their distinctive headgear are the drill sergeants. These dedicated non-commissioned officers form the backbone of the Army's training center system selected based on professional competence, leadership, ability, and years of service. These men and women undergo intensive training to earn the right to wear their distinctive hat and insignia. With the drill sergeant hat comes the important responsibility of molding civilian men and women into soldiers. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Captain Tony Adkins, who serves as the Echo Company commander for the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment. He and the battalion staff are positioned on the field. Sound attention! The reviewing officer for today's graduation is the battalion executive officer of the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, Major Tyrone W. Norman. On his left is Command Sergeant Major Torin P. Kern the battalion's senior non-commissioned officer, master trainer, and principal advisor to the commander. The commander of troops will now bring forward the colors and persons to be honored.
confidence, commitment are the hallmarks of professionalism. The soldiers and drill sergeant coming forward will be recognized for their excellence in training and duty performance. They serve as an example to all. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. It is appropriate for soldiers in uniform and all armed forces veterans to salute the American flag. We ask our civilian guests to please remove your headgear and place your right hand over your heart as our national anthem is played. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The soldiers most responsible for the training of these soldiers are the drill sergeants, who are carefully selected by the Department of the Army. The drill sergeant campaign hat and badge have been a stoic symbol of professionalism and pride since 1962. At this time, will all past and present drill sergeants please stand as the drill sergeant of the cycle for the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, recites the drill sergeant creed. I will assist each individual in their efforts to become a highly motivated, well-disciplined, physically and mentally fit soldier capable of defeating any enemy on today's modern battlefield. I will instill pride in all I train, pride in self, in the army, and in country. I will insist that each soldier meets and maintains the army standards of military bearing and courtesies consistent with the highest traditions of the U.S. Army. I will lead by example, never requiring a soldier to attempt any task I will not do myself. But first, last, and always, I am an American soldier, sworn to defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, both foreign and domestic. 
I am a drill sergeant. This will defend. Ladies and gentlemen, Major Norman and Command Sergeant Major Kern will now present the awards. The Outstanding Drill Sergeant of the Cycle for the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment is Staff Sergeant John Sunga from Alexandria, Virginia. The soldier leader of the cycle for Alpha Company is Private First Class Desiree Bird from Colorado Springs, Colorado. The soldier of the cycle for Alpha Company is Specialist Hunter Malone from Dayton, Ohio. The soldier leader of the cycle for Bravo Company is Specialist Remus Padilla from Orlando, Florida. The soldier of the cycle for Bravo Company is Private Stephanie Salas from Atlanta, Georgia. The soldier leader of the cycle for Charlie Company is Private First Class Nicole Mathena from Clifton, Colorado. The soldier of the cycle for Charlie Company is Private First Class Cody Torres from Anderson, California. The soldier leader of the cycle for Delta Company is Private First Class Houston Hayden from Ellerby, North Carolina. The soldier of the, si of the cycle for Delta Company is Private First Class Joshua Mills Kelly from Tallahassee, Florida. The soldier leader of the cycle for Echo Company is Private Shay Faniff from Boston, Massachusetts. The soldier of the cycle for Echo Company is Private Andrew Colvert from Tonganoxie, Kansas. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Executive Officer of the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry Regiment, Major Tyrone W. Norman. Good morning, Brigadier General and Mrs. Kelly, Colonel Hutton, Sergeant Major and Mrs. Oaks, Colonel and Mrs. White, Sergeant Major and Mrs. Duncan. Distinguished guests, and most importantly, the family and friends of Team Riverado, Welcome and thank you for joining us in honoring the accomplishments of basic combat training, class 23-04. At Fort Jackson, as the sign in front of you states, we make American soldiers. As the we in the statement implies, it is, in fact, a team effort to produce the finest quality soldiers that this country demands. I'd like to take a few moments to honor those involved. First, I would like to think, take time to thank the 282nd Army Band as always, y'all sound great. You consistently provide a touch of class and distinction to all these important ceremonies week after week. I ask you all to please join me in a round of applause for these distinguished guests. Soldiers. Thank you. Since 1917, Fort Jackson has prepared Americans to fight and win our nation's wars. Today, it serves as the Army's premier training center and the largest makers of American soldiers. These soldiers, regardless of changes in technology, tactics, or strategies employed, remain the one constant of war and conflict. We always need people to fight and win our nation's wars. As such, the Army prides itself in the people business 
and River Raider and Team Jackson are in the business of producing and developing the best people to serve as our soldiers, non-commissioned, and commissioned officers. I'm extremely proud to be part of that mission, and I promise you our future is in good hands with the soldiers standing on the field today. They are our mission, and our mission is critical. When the soldiers assembled on the field arrived here in September, many of them quickly realized that this may be the greatest challenge of their lives. Out of the 1,302 civilians that started, 1,267 soldiers met the challenge and stand before you today. They now join the ranks of military professionals, past and present, and I would like to take this opportunity to recognize all those that have and continue to proudly wear this uniform. I'll ask that all veterans here with us today please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Soldiers, you are now a part of their legacy, and I know you will do your best to honor and uphold that legacy. Our battalion earned its motto, River Raiders, from its participation in the mobile Marine Force operations conducted in the Mekong Delta Vietnam, where some of its highest fighting of the Vietnam War took place. We are proud of its history and serving in its distinguished lineage. The soldiers in front of you today will later serve in other units with their own unique history and a future story that they will one day proudly be part of. None unlike their predecessors, these soldiers have begun their journey of service and will now contribute to the story not yet written. Their story began when they arrived 10 weeks ago. The beginning of their training was about discipline, fitness, and confidence, becoming a soldier. They conducted countless inspections. They learned how to march and challenge themselves both physically and mentally. Shortly thereafter, they gained trust in their military equipment by wearing their chemical protective mask in our gas chamber and learning how to accurately fire their weapon at various distances under stress. They gained confidence in their equipment, their leaders, and again, in themselves. Each completed a series of challenging yet critical Army tasks, testing their mettle and adaptability of becoming proficient in their warrior task. They gained mental fortitude and toughness through daily physical fitness work and by marching great distances under a heavy load. These tests of grit and discipline showed them the importance of recognizing their role as a member of a team and the importance of taking care of each other because each other is all you might have. While they leaned on each other, they were led by their amazing drill sergeants. These group of hand-selected and elite experts represent the best the Army has to train our soldiers. They serve many long days and nights, sacrificing much but doing so with a sense of pride and purpose to transform your soldier into someone who could one day be better than themselves. Cycle after cycle, they arrive before the trainees wake up and depart after they bed down. Almost all here today, in the stands and on the field, may forget my name, may even forget these comments, but none, I mean none, will forget the name of their drill sergeant who remained with them throughout their journey. They and the rest of Team River Raider know these soldiers are our legacy and must be ready to continue the mission long after we're gone. Soldiers, you have met the call of service and sacrifice that many in our country are unwilling or unable to make. Less than 1% of Americans elect to serve in the United States military, making you a part of elite few willing to commit to the last full measure of devotion and service to our nation. Take pride in the profession join. Always remember you're a part of a team of fellow soldiers serving in the defense of freedom across the world. I know I speak for all the drill sergeants, cadre, and leaders in saying, River Raiders, you definitely rode hard. You met the standard and you're ready to learn your chosen crafts. While your victories may have started here, don't let them end here. Our country needs you trained and ready for any situation. Finally, Remember, the price of freedom is internal vigilance. 
Remain vigilant as you go off into our Army world and accomplish your missions. Each is important to the success of our Army, our nation, and our way of life. To extended Army families, thank you again for your attendance and for your tremendous support to your soldier and our nation. Please continue to help support your new soldier. They have become something different, something better than they once were. They are now part of the greatest army in the world and will forever be part of their legacy. River Raiders, no ground to give, and victory. Thank you. Today's soldier is above all a warrior, adaptive, confident, and competent. As a soldier, you are totally committed to the warrior ethos, grounded in army values, and determined to destroy enemies of the United States of America and her allies. The United States Army Soldiers Creed embodies this commitment. To the soldiers on the field, the uniform you wear at this moment is more than an outward display of your vocational choice. Your uniform is a symbol of a nation and an unspoken assurance to all who see you that you are a willing and able protector of the freedoms fought so arduously by all who have gone before and those who will bravely come after. You have become what you set out to be, a soldier in the United States Army. The Soldier's Creed is your declaration of your unshakable commitment to the ideals this nation was founded upon and will continue to guarantee. Ladies and gentlemen, Please stand as Private First Class Joshua Mills Kelly leads the soldier standing before you through the reciting of the Soldier's Creed. Please be seated. In consideration of those around you, we ask that you please remain seated and in the bleachers until all soldiers have passed the reviewing stand and the conclusion of the ceremony is announced. As you are approached by the American flag, it is appropriate to rise and remain standing until it has passed to your right. Once the ceremony has concluded, family members of awardees may meet their soldier under the canopy located to the left of the bleachers. All other family members and friends Please meet your soldier on the field once instructed by the narrator. The 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry, was constituted May 1917 in the regular Army as Charlie Company, 60th Infantry. 
It was organized June 1917 at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania during the outset of the First World War. In November 1917, the regiment participated in the campaigns of Saint-Miel, Alsace-Lorraine, and finally in the war-ending campaign of the Meuse Argonne. The battalion fought with superb distinction throughout the Second World War, beginning with the Algeria-French Morocco invasion at Port Lyoté as part of Operation Torch. In February 1943, the battalion was an integral part of pushing Field Marshal Rommel's Africa Corps from the Kasserine Pass. In France, during the heroic days of June 1944, the battalion led the way for the division as it spearheaded the American advance out of the Utah beachhead that cut the Continental Peninsula and secured the vital port of Cherbourg. For the battalion's actions at the pivotal crossing of the Douve River, the battalion was awarded a presidential unit citation following the final advance into Central Europe. The following the battalion advance into Central Europe, the battalion received another presidential unit citation for capturing the Schwammel Dam. The battalion was inactivated in November 1946 while in Ingolstadt, Germany. The battalion was selected to be one of the first units to return to the United States from Vietnam. On July 8, 1969, the unit was greeted by General William C. Westmoreland, a former commander of the 60th Infantry, 1945 through 1946. On their return to Seattle, Washington, and on August 1, 1969, the unit was deactivated at Fort Riley, Kansas. The battalion was finally called back to the active army on November 16, 2005 at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. The 360th instills the spirit of the Go Devil Regiment and the River Raiders Battalion into the hearts and minds of today's young fighting soldiers. Passing the reviewing stand is the commander of troops, Captain Tony Atkins and the battalion staff. The 282nd Army Band is commanded by Chief Warrant Officer 3, Kevin L. Pick. The drum major is Staff Sergeant Jacob Davis. Captain Sh 